Apple literally just made history. Apple's MagSafe standard for wireless charging their iPhones ever since the iPhone 12 has now just been chosen as the future wireless charging standard for all devices globally. Yes, globally. The Wireless Power Consortium just announced that Qi 2, yes, the replacement for the original Qi is literally built on Apple's MagSafe technology using a new magnetic power profile, which is literally MagSafe, and it's gonna be built in to the standard for all devices. Yes, that means that MagSafe is literally the future. I've been trying to tell you guys that for the last couple of years, ever since it came out with the iPhone 12, I said MagSafe is gonna be huge, it's gonna be a big deal, it's gonna be the future, it's gonna be packed into the Apple car, all devices, now the AirPods Pro 2 run on MagSafe as well, and now, Apple has won the entire industry with their MagSafe connector. Yes, the entire industry is going to be on the standard of Qi 2, which the Wireless Power Consortium says is going to directly replace the original Qi certification altogether. And this is an absolute huge deal for the entire smartphone industry and especially Apple because Apple is gonna be making money because this is the new standard and they're gonna be charging different royalty fees and for people to use the logo, trademark, everything with MagSafe as Qi 2. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but currently with USB-C, you actually have to pay a $5,000 membership fee to join USB-IF, and that is annual so that you can continue to use the USB-C trademark and logo and everything involved with that. It's actually not open source and completely free. Vendors actually have to pay for it. Now, you do have the option of a one-time $6,000 fee, but then you have to pay $3,500 $500 when you use their logo and to avoid paying that fee you just pay the annual $5,000. So imagine now that the entire industry is switching over to MagSafe and Apple is making money. This is literally the successor to Apple's Lightning that's bringing in a lot of royalties and people are wondering how are they going to ditch Lightning if USB-C is going to be free? They're not going to make money. Well, here you go. There's MagSafe becoming Qi 2 and bringing in Apple a ton of royalty and licensing revenue. Now for the last year or so, I've been telling you guys that MagSafe is my favorite feature on the iPhone because it's completely unique and it destroys all other forms of wireless charging because it's magnetic. Yes, you have magnets built in so you get perfect alignment all the time. You don't have issues with stuff getting knocked out and moved out of the way. Like for example, in cars right now, they have a lot of wireless charging pads built in and the issue is you take a turn, it slides off, it's no longer charging, but now that MagSafe is becoming the Qi 2 standard, you're literally gonna see new cars with MagSafe built into the dashes and the center consoles so that you get perfect wireless charging all the time. And the awesome thing about all of this is that they're also showing off that you're gonna get better efficiency. It's gonna be more green. They're gonna have less landfill fill up because these MagSafe connectors and chargers are gonna last a long time and it's gonna be standardized. I'm so excited for this because right now, we even have Android people, Android fans, that are using MagSafe stickers on the back of their Android phones to use MagSafe accessories. That's how good it is. There's even cases you can buy for Android phones with MagSafe magnets built in. And to see Apple just completely win over the industry and become the new standard with MagSafe, is amazing. Like, I thought MagSafe was gonna be the future, but I didn't expect it to be this big. So imagine, by the end of the year, according to the Wireless Power Consortium, we're gonna have Qi 2 standard chargers on the market by the end of the year, available to everyone. And my guess is that within one or two years, Every single smartphone, including Android smartphones, will have MagSafe batteries built into the back of those smartphones, and Apple is getting their cut. 
This is the best thing that could ever happen to Apple. I can't believe they pulled it off. Now getting even deeper, if you think about Apple's issues right now in the EU with them forcing them to ditch lightning and adopt the USB-C standard to have a standardized charging connector, well, what if Apple's MagSafe will now qualify or pass as that standard because now it's literally standardized across the industry. So Apple can say, well, hey, we have a standard MagSafe charger on the back. We no longer need USB-C. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's limited to USB-C or if it's just any kind of wireless charging standard. But if that's the case and Apple was able to surpass and go around all those laws by making their own MagSafe charger the standard for the entire industry globally, that would be absolutely insane. Now, MagSafe is the future, I believe, because even if the next iPhone 15 lineup later this year gets USB-C, we're gonna get three years of USB-C iPhones, and then I believe that in 2026, Apple is gonna have completely portless iPhones relying on MagSafe, and I do believe that it's gonna get a lot faster and a lot more efficient, so that's gonna be really, really big for Apple. And there's a chance that if all the other smartphones, Android phones support MagSafe, they could also eventually go portless as well. That just blows my mind that the entire industry is gonna be following in Apple's footsteps. Now, in terms of Apple making money off of royalties, I came across this very interesting post about five years ago from HRH George J. Rickey, saying that what Apple wants badly is to get a royalty fee from every computer, phone, and device produced, even 10%. They failed with Firewire. The USB-IF only makes open standards, so they would not agree to anything Apple required. Apple could, however, push for a technology they have patented to be optional. Then they could convince device manufacturers their addition was such a great thing, and then computer manufacturers would include it in order to enable those devices. Then they can charge their 10 cents. 10 cents on billions of devices for doing nothing is a lot of money. There are lots of bits of intellectual property via patents and copyrights and a modern computer and lots of companies earning fractions of pennies. So imagine Apple earning royalties, even 10 cents on every single MagSafe design with MagSafe charging. That is insane amounts of money for Apple. That is a huge success. And even if Apple can't make any royalties or even limited royalties on this whole MagSafe thing, imagine the entire market of MagSafe accessories just entirely blowing up and becoming hugely popular because every single smartphone is gonna have MagSafe Qi 2 built in. Now, if you have any other thoughts you wanna share, let me know down in the comments section below. And if you wanna pick up one of those MagSafe chargers in advance, you can find it using the YouTube product tagging feature. Thanks for watching. Click that circle button to subscribe for more videos like this one, and we'll see you in the next video.